We've now hit 9 million cases. You're doing a great job. We make up 4% of the world's population. Uh, we are absolutely rounding the corner. We have 20% of the world's deaths. He's a pathetic candidate, I will tell you that. Donald Trump waved the white flag, surrendered to the virus. No, no, he has. He's waved the white flag on life. It's the crisis that can't be ignored. The COVID-19 outbreak in the U.S., the biggest in the world, not only changed the way the presidential candidates carried out their campaigns and how many voters cast their ballots, the virus that was unknown to us this time last year became the dominant election issue. Wow, this is a big crowd. This is a very big crowd. Donald Trump's push for the White House saw pack rallies, little physical distancing, and few masks at odds with recommendations from his own health officials. Joe Biden staging drive-in events. Limiting group size, using circles to keep people apart, and regularly sporting a mask. This is Sleepy Joe. The guy goes... The guy goes to his basement. Biden did keep a lower profile to reduce his risk of exposure to COVID-19 until recently picking up the pace of public events. I'm not going to shut down the country, but I'm going to shut down the virus. While Trump, who canceled stops between March and June during the first wave, has since been crisscrossing the country, except when he was forced off the campaign trail when he tested positive, spending three nights in hospital with a joyride in the middle before his return to the White House where he promptly removed his mask. First lady had it, she's doing well. I had it. Here I am. Here I am. But with steep job losses, normal life upended, and a growing death toll, polls show the majority of Americans disapprove of Trump's handling of the virus. Looks like by April, you know, in theory, when it gets a little warmer, it miraculously goes away. One day it's like a miracle, it will disappear. Trump admitting he deliberately downplayed the threat of COVID-19. I wanted to always play it down. I still like playing it down. Yes, sir. Because I don't want to create a panic. And he attacked his own advisors, saying people are tired of hearing Fauci and these idiots. After Dr. Anthony Fauci pointing to an outbreak at the White House, told 60 Minutes he wasn't surprised Trump caught the virus. I was worried that he was going to get sick when I saw him in a completely precarious situation. And then sure enough, it turned out to be a super spreader event. With political engagement up and record early voting during a pandemic, a lingering question, will the election be a referendum on Trump's coronavirus right, response? Well, Melissa Duggan, City News.